I'm just using the warmth of my fingertips to buff and blend out the product. And as you can see, that just created a really nice crease line. Now it's time for mascara. If you want even more fullness, you can swiggle the brush at the base of the lash. You can instantly see how much fuller and longer my lashes look. I want you guys to know that layering is key to achieve a really nice shimmery multi-dimensional look. How cool is that? I'm taking the point of the lipstick and dabbing it on my upper lip so I can really control where the color is going. You can feather this out with your finger, but keep in mind you want the deepest portion of this color to remain in the center. So to avoid too harsh of a line, what I'm doing is just taking the brush, angling it downwards. I like to massage this into my nail bed to nourish and hydrate my nails. Don't be afraid, the smudgier the look, the better. There's a common makeup misconception that whatever lipstick you start with in the morning, you have to continue with all day long, and that's just not true. First off, I like to keep my face fairly neutral when I'm doing a bold red lip. If I know I'm gonna be taking a ton of pictures, I like to take a shimmery white like this and apply it in the very inner corner of the eyes and directly underneath the brow bone, so that way it really brings forth light and pops on camera. I like to do upward flicking motion so that way the brows have a natural look to it. If you want a bold brow, you can definitely use a shade that's similar to your natural hair color. But if you want something more subtle, a couple shades lighter than that works perfect. Basically, anytime you use complementary colors and you put the brighter shade on the bottom, it's gonna make your lips look more full. And that's never a bad thing. Lip liner is another good way to make your lips look fuller. So if you're on the thinner side, you can cheat fullness by lining slightly outside the line. 